I've used every different kind of software as it's been developed from the very first software. And you'll get to a place where you'll use something, you go, this is new, this is different. Um, and when I used Daria the first time, I, I thought, you know, like, I thought of some gear that I just bought and wondered if I'd needed to buy it. <laughs> My name's David Kahn. I'm a producer and mixing engineer. One of the fascinating parts of Aria is that it works on an iPad. That's why it felt like a, a tipping point to me, that someone had created something that was so powerful on a device that doesn't, isn't really known for being powerful in that way. I've bought cheap um, recorders for my laptop and it just, uh, didn't sound that good. I knew I was just goofing around. Um, Aria is the first time I've ever mixed on something like that where I realized I wasn't goofing around anymore, that I could actually get something out of this that was at the level that I thought it should be. I was using something that felt like a full-on professional tool on my iPad, and that was a, that was a strange feeling. Aria has a really detailed interface that is very easy to use. That's the trick of it for me because I can do, when I think I want to do this, I can go do it and I can get to it quickly. When I first used Aria, I went to the plugin strip and I loaded up three plugins and they opened and worked perfectly. And the first thing I thought of was there's going to be a lot of plugins that you can buy for this. So, plugins that I use in my other DAWs. I'm assuming are going to be available, and uh, they were seamlessly integrated into the software. I can switch from the edit page to the fader page. I can call up my piece of audio. I can trim it, go to the edit menus, change the gain, move the audio around, go back to my fader page. And one thing that's interesting about Aria is that when you turn it to letter position, the faders get long and uh, it's a really great feature because you get more detail that way. You're working and you come out the audio port to monitor and it's just audio out. It's essentially the interface is in, built into the software. At the end, you hit the mix down button and it sums it offline and drops it into your Dropbox or your iTunes account. You don't have another piece of hardware there. You don't have a something that you have to go through to monitor the sound that's coming out of the audio. And the ability to record 24 tracks into the iPad, that freaked me out a little bit. You know, to go through a camera connection kit and get in there with 24 tracks. There's a lot of people that aren't going to go out and pay a thousand dollars for a DAW that will only run on a two thousand dollar laptop. They're, if they already have an iPad, they're going to be paying $50 to be able to plug it in and start recording um, the moment that they get it downloaded. When I started mixing the approach, I put up the kick and I started jacking it with a compressor and EQs and I copied it onto another track and I put it in its own sub bus and I started working with it there. And uh, 10 minutes later, I had a good sounding kick. I could feel it moving air and, and um, it was recorded in a big room in a barn so I started working on the room mics to compress the rooms in it. They came right up. It was really good recording of the room, really nice sounding room. I did a, a kind of a complicated edit where I wanted to cut out eight bars of the whole song and I wanted to cut them all out at once and then take the, what I had and move it in and crossfade it. And um, there's a feature uh, now in Aria where you can group very easily as many tracks as you want and then lock them into place. And then I moved them over and I had to shift them around slightly and redo the crossfades so that the, you couldn't hear the edit, so it was just part of the kit. And um, uh, it worked perfectly. So that was a kind of an arranging thing I did. You know, what, something I would normally do at a rehearsal, but I was, because I was only mixing, I was able to do it using the editing functions. And it worked great. This is another way to mix uh, for me, and I'm somebody that does this kind of stuff every day. For a user who needs a mixer, 
and they have an iPad, it's amazing how well it works. So I can't wait till I get my first Aria mix on the radio. That'll be a fun day. <laughs>